still ahead. The potential energy source of the future is as small as a coffee cup, but the power is reportedly explosive. That's coming next. Flipping a switch in your home, and boom! Unlimited power surges through every outlet, every device, lighting up your life without a single dime hitting your electricity bill. Forever. No more greedy utility companies breathing down your neck. No more blackouts during storms. Just pure, endless energy straight from the tap. Literally, from water. Sounds like science fiction? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into the mind-blowing world of brilliant light power and their revolutionary generator that's set to shatter the energy game. This isn't just tech. It's a rebellion against the old world order. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be fired up, questioning everything you thought you knew about power. Let's crank up the excitement and uncover this hidden gem that's been lurking in the shadows, waiting to explode onto the scene. A secret technology that's been bubbling under the surface, promising to power your entire home for free, forever. Enter Brilliant Light Power, a company that's not just talking the talk. They're engineering a breakthrough that could flip the script on global energy. This isn't some pie-in-the-sky dream. It's based on cutting-edge physics that's been tested, tweaked, and pushed to the limits. It's extremely compact, extremely lightweight, and uh, the fuel can be pulled from the atmosphere. This can replace nuclear power. It can replace every form of power, coal, oil, gas, uh, solar, wind, bio, geothermal. Uh, it can replace the utility grid. And the heart of it all? A genius inventor who's been battling the odds to bring this to light. Get ready, because this story is packed with twists, triumphs, and enough conspiracy to keep you glued to your screen. At the center of this energy revolution stands Dr. Randall Mills, a true maverick who's rewriting the rules of science. Born with a brain wired for breakthroughs, Mills graduated with a chemistry degree from Franklin and Marshall College, then crushed it at Harvard Medical School, earning his MD. But he didn't stop there. He dove deep into physics, challenging the giants like Einstein and quantum theorists with his own grand unified theory of classical physics. Yeah, you heard that right. This guy's not just a doctor. He's a visionary physicist who spent decades cracking the code of the universe. Back in the early 90s, Mills founded what would become Brilliant Light Power, pouring his soul into a discovery that could end energy poverty overnight. He's the kind of inventor who sees possibilities where others see dead ends, battling skepticism and suppression to prove his tech isn't just real, it's game-changing. And folks, this man's journey is straight out of a thriller novel. From lab experiments in a garage-like setup to leading a team of elite engineers, Mills has dodged every obstacle thrown his way. He's the underdog hero we all root for. And his invention? It's about to make him a legend. Now, let's geek out on the science. But don't worry, I'll keep it simple, exciting, and mind-bending. At the core of brilliant light power's magic is something called the hydrino. Think of hydrogen atoms, the building blocks of water, as tiny powerhouses with untapped potential. In traditional science, we burn fuels or split atoms for energy, but Mills discovered a hidden state. The hydrino, where the electron in a hydrogen atom drops to a lower energy level, closer to the nucleus. This isn't some wild guess. It's based on Mills's unified theory that fixes the flaws in quantum mechanics. When that electron plummets, it releases a massive burst of energy, way more than chemical reactions, without the dangers of nuclear fission. We're talking energy densities that make gasoline look like a weak sparkler. And the best part? The fuel is hydrogen from plain old water. No mining rare metals, no polluting emissions, just pure, clean power from H2O. It's like unlocking a secret level in the universe's game, 
where energy flows freely and abundantly. Can you imagine the implications? This isn't incremental improvement. It's a quantum leap that could redefine reality. So, how does this translate into a real-deal generator that powers your home? Enter the Sun Cell, the star of the show, a compact beast that's like a mini-sun in a box. Here's how it works, step by thrilling step. First, the Sun Cell takes ordinary water, yep, from your faucet, or even the humidity in the air, and splits it into hydrogen using a clever catalyst system. Then, in a sealed plasma chamber, electrodes ignite a reaction, injecting molten silver or other metals to create an intense, glowing plasma. This plasma triggers the hydrogen atoms to form hydranos, unleashing a brilliant flood of high-energy light, brighter than the sun itself in tests. That light hits concentrator photovoltaic cells, just like supercharged solar panels, converting it directly into electricity with insane efficiency. No moving parts to break, no waste heat polluting the environment. It's a closed-loop miracle. And get this, the byproducts? Just harmless hydrino gas, which Mills claims is a form of dark matter that could explain cosmic mysteries. The whole setup is smaller than your fridge, yet it packs the punch to run your entire house, EVs, and more. We've seen demos hitting over a megawatt of power with gains up to 34 times the input, meaning you put in a little energy to start it, and it spits out way more. It's efficient, silent, and scalable. Excited yet? This thing could be humming in your basement, turning water into watts while you binge watch your favorites. But wait, how much power are we really talking? Hold on to your seats, because the numbers are jaw-dropping. A single sun cell unit is designed to crank out up to 250 kilowatts of electrical power, enough to light up a small neighborhood or keep a massive home running non-stop. Think about it. Your average household uses around 10 to 20 kilowatts peak. So one of these bad boys could power multiple homes, charge your electric car fleet, and even sell excess back to the grid if you want it. And the output? Tests have shown peaks at 1.14 megawatts with energy release from hydrogen that's over 100 times more potent than burning the same amount of high-octane gas. That means endless runtime, no refueling stations, no dependency on sunny days or windy weather like solar or wind. It's always on, always free after the initial setup. The cost to generate? Projected at less than 10% of any current power source, making coal, nuclear, and renewables look obsolete overnight. Imagine slashing global energy costs ending blackouts in developing countries, and powering spaceships to Mars with this tech. The potential is limitless, and it's all from something as simple as water. This isn't hype. It's the dawn of a new era where energy abundance is your birthright. Now, the million-dollar question, or should I say, the trillion-dollar conspiracy. Why hasn't this world-changing tech hit the market yet? Ah, here's where the plot thickens and the excitement ramps up to thriller levels. Despite decades of development, over $120 million invested, and countless validations, the Sun Cell remains just out of reach. Why? Well, let's connect the dots. Big oil, utility giants, and entrenched energy cartels have trillions at stake. Free power from water? That threatens their empires overnight. Rumors swirl of suppressed patents, shadowy lobbying, and even government interventions to keep this under wraps. Mills has faced relentless skepticism from mainstream scientists clinging to outdated quantum theories, calling hydrinos pseudoscience while ignoring the evidence. But is it really debunked or is it deliberate sabotage? Think about history. Tesla's free energy ideas vanished, cold fusion got buried, 
And now this. Insiders whisper about buyout attempts, legal battles, and media blackouts orchestrated by powerful interests who profit from scarcity. Brilliant light power has pushed through patents in dozens of countries, run independent tests, and even published in peer-reviewed journals, yet the breakthrough lingers in labs. It's like a blockbuster movie where the hero fights the system. And folks, Mills is winning, but the resistance is fierce. This delay isn't failure, it's proof of how revolutionary it is. The powers that be don't want you empowered, literally. A sun cell in your garage, compact, safe, and humming quietly. Hook it up to your electrical panel, and voila! Every light, appliance, heater, and gadget runs on autopilot. Fuel? Just add water, tap water, rain water, whatever. The reaction sustains itself, recycling the process with minimal input after startup. No bills, no emissions, no noise. Your home becomes a self-sufficient fortress, immune to grid failures or price hikes. For a family, that means thousands saved yearly, redirected to vacations, gadgets, or investments. And scalability? Stack units for bigger needs or go off-grid entirely. It's empowerment on steroids, turning consumers into producers, democratizing energy like the Internet democratized information. But the conspiracy angle? If this hits homes, it collapses monopolies. No wonder it's been held back. Yet, the tide is turning. With climate urgency and energy independence cries, this could be the spark that ignites a global shift. Fast forward to today, and Brilliant Light Power's plans are charging ahead with unstoppable momentum. As of late 2025, they're deep in advanced testing at their new Pennsylvania facility, perfecting electromagnetic pumps, injectors, and hydrogen integration for the sun cell. Recent runs have nailed molten metal injections, hitting high power outputs with rock-solid stability. They're collaborating on hydrano analysis, updating business projections that scream massive profits once commercialized. The roadmap? Roll out prototypes for industrial partners soon, then scale to consumer units. Financials project billions in revenue, powering everything from data centers to EVS. It's not vaporware. Videos show glowing plasmas and real gains. The company's eyeing global licensing, partnerships with forward-thinking firms, and even space applications. This isn't stagnation. It's the final sprint before launch.